those priority duties have to be the next. So we have to carry uh, away. Let's just work with these here. And before I have the paper, or that is how to do it. But it can be done. It can be done. SPE is the Society of Petroleum Engineers, well recognized worldwide, and it is the fostering place for all petroleum related engineering topics. Um, the SPE is where we grew to know about what's happening in the world, where we get scholarships, where we actually get to see new technologies implemented, and where we get to share our technologies. So I have personally been honored to be a distinguished lecturer for the SPE, where I went to 25 countries sharing my experience and expertise uh, in forums that had between 25 to 150 attendees giving lectures around the world. And I have certainly benefited from other experienced distinguished lecturers coming from all over the world to teach us about their areas of expertise. NATC is the North Africa Technology Conference. It is the regional SPE conference for North Africa. Each region has its own uh, technology conference and exhibition. And the SPE had combined Egypt with Libya, with Tunisia and Algeria, into the North and Sudan into the North Africa Technology Conference. So this is to invite companies in this area to submit papers and share experiences amongst them. And also, not necessarily just these uh, areas, there could be other companies in the area like Aramco or uh, PDO or uh, even European companies that come and exhibit their, their experiences under the auspices of SPC, S, uh, SPE. And as an SPE event, uh, it all follows the revision process where published papers or presented papers are submitted for publication and, and therefore ready to be shared with the rest of the world if it meets the technical criteria. So NATC is a good opportunity for businesses as well as uh, operating companies and service companies as well as universities to show the rest of the world their work, their technology and certainly the advancements going in the area. Typically in SPE events, people come to highlight their success or uh, put forward their problems or suggest solutions and share expertise. Service companies come to present their solutions and universities the same thing. Uh, so at the end of these uh, conferences usually, somebody with a problem finds his solution and go and talk to these companies whether it's another operating company to try to get learnings or whether it's a service provider to, so that they could contract them to come and, 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 and solve that problem. Uh, we always use this opportunity to have a showroom whereby uh, both operators and service companies have exhibitions to show their technology, to show their equipment, and people going through those equipment get to see what's the latest that's going in. So between those two forums usually you end up with solutions for problems and, and you walk out with a list of things usually that develop into business later on. Now this is the case with all SPE events. What's unique about the NATC is that it gives more space and room for local service providers to come in and exhibit. So you end up with local drilling companies, local service companies, uh, local providers of software having a forum to exhibit their products and therefore not only sell it locally, regionally, and internationally. We all know that we're going through challenging times with prices. One of those challenging uh, concepts uh, is the business model that's being operated right now. Conventionally, uh, Middle East company, uh, countries, they resort to major oil companies to come in and help them. Uh, but that's not necessarily the case. Uh, the times now had seen the best of these countries are long gone and what's left is the hard oil. Hard oil may be not profitable for big major company, 
but it's perfectly sized for small to medium enterprise. Uh, a major oil company, Shell or Exxon, is not going to go after a 50 million barrel field, but a small company uh, could very well find that profitable and will go after it. So one of the themes of this conference is to try to uh, build the proper business atmosphere for SMEs, small to medium enterprise, so they could function in this area. That is obviously some of the uncertainties of the area, having seen the major discoveries gone and what's left is a smaller size. I will take Egypt as an example of uh, where this theme had been uh, proposed. As we know, we are scrapping the bottom barrel of the field and that requires a lot of fracturing. For example, to keep the fracture open, we, you, you blow up the earth open, and in order to keep it open, you need some uh, ceramic or some propens to keep the formation from collapsing again. Egypt possesses the best quality propens in the world, in its desert, and it's not necessarily well utilized or advertised. So the theme of this conference is to look at things like this, whereby there is potential of big business that's laying down unexplored or underexplored and try to bring them to the fourth for the light and try to build attention so that these things would actually lead the economy in Egypt. We have that potential and we are trying to get that message out, um, not necessarily to the Egyptian government, but more to the world.